Welcome to WatchCard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nagreiner. Today's story is a printer hacking bonanza. Three researchers from a German university recently released a lot of information around their long-term project to find out how hackable network printers were. Basically, these guys gathered together 20 used printers from different manufacturers and they pen tested or audited these printers for vulnerabilities. They categorized vulnerabilities in five different ways. Denial of service flaws, which might allow you to stop a network printer from working for other users. Uh, privilege elevation flaws where you might be able to reset the printer or gain access to it you shouldn't have. Print job vulnerabilities, which basically could allow you to manipulate a print job or maybe gain access to print jobs you shouldn't have, uh, which are things other people are printing. Other information disclosure vulnerabilities, like maybe gaining access to the printer's uh, file system, its memory, or maybe even gaining access to its credentials so you have full control of the printer. And finally, code execution vulnerabilities, where you may actually be able to execute code on the printer or a load Trojan firmware. Without going into all their details, which are pretty long, uh, basically they were able to find some class of vulnerabilities in all 20 of these printers. And they've released a ton of information about this. They've released a educational or academic white paper. They have a great blog post on the subject. They've created a wiki page, which actually has a chart of what vulnerabilities they found in all different devices. And finally, they even released a printer hacking tool set, which other penetration testers or researchers can use. In any case, it's very interesting research. It also goes to show you that you can hack printers. That's something we've kind of known for a long time. Uh, I remember back in the day where hackers would put pirate FTP servers on printers. And frankly, printers are just Internet of Things devices anyways. They're computers that happen to print as well. So this is really not that unexpected, but it's still fantastic research. Now, the good news is to do most of these hacks, you actually need network access to a printer uh, using some of the printer protocols out there. And almost no one on the internet exposes their printer uh, to the outside world. If you basically have a firewall and you have a printer behind a firewall, that at least prevents internet-based attackers from leveraging any of these flaws. So the practical tip is obvious, just firewall your printer. That said, that doesn't prevent internal users from exploiting this issue. I suspect over the next few months, we'll probably see some of these printer manufacturers release uh, patches for some of the vulnerabilities these researchers found. Anyways, just an interesting project. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.